Good morning and welcome to Manic Fishing. Right, I've got a wrecking trip coming up uh, in the next week or so and I'm going to make some rigs up already and what I do is I stick my rigs on this bit of builder's Celotech so they're all ready to go. So I'll show you what I'm going to be using. Normally, as you know, I'm a lure fisherman so if I can't get away with using my lead heads when I'm in deep water, which is where these pollock are at the minute, I generally use like a, a sidewinder. I'm going to try these little drifts. These are only 30 grams, putting these on and also these jelly worms that I talked about earlier in a previous video. So I'll put them on with these heads and I'll show you how I rig them up and put them on my Celotex. Okay, and this is how I rig it up. So you get your jelly worm. I know roughly where it's coming out, so it's going through the top. Thread that round. Yeah, it sits quite nicely. And that'll be fine. I think that'll work well. That's a 28 gram head just to get me down. So I'll show you um, what I do is I use um, I use this Seagar, which is a 30 pound fluorocarbon. It's quite expensive, this one, 21 quid, but I find it the best. Um, I used to use Abnesia, but I just, you know, I just stick to what I'm confident with. So what I'll do is I'll put a swivel on here and then all I do with my knot is I just go through that eye, make a loop and go round that five or six times. And then through the uh, bottom, And then just pull that tight and that's a knot there just trim that tag end up it's not essential but and then what I do is I generally I'll put that in my bait table I generally go to the length of my door so I suppose it's about about six seven foot and then let's tie one of these, let's tie this jelly worm on. Right, so do the same knot again, go around that five times. Wet it. And that's a knot there and then I'll just trim that tag end. And then that's my first one. So I'll clip this, put it onto the Celotex here, and then just literally wrap the line round as best I can so it doesn't tangle. And I'll just poke that swivel in the back there there that's one I've already got this lazy lure set up on there so let's show you another one see if I can make it look a bit easier right so we do a sidewinder now these are scaries these are my favorite favorite length and uh, color right so same knot pull it through and then I hold that spool just wet that and there so I just trim that little tag end up I don't cut it right tight just in case it stretches but it shouldn't now this is an easier way I just hook that in there and then pull it to the door and then I just allow five six inches And put my swivel on exactly the same way. It 
There you go. Just try not to get it tangled with the other ones. And then in theory, when you want to set up, you just literally just pull the lure out and it should stay so it's not caught up. Let's just move that as a hook I had on there. Right, let's build a few up then. notice on some of these lures they got like a plastic guard on there it was quite funny I went fishing with my mate I used to go out with a lot old bricklayer and uh, I kept catching fish and he was uh, he kept grabbing them and then they they kept coming off and uh, he pulled it up and he still had the plastic on it so it just kept falling off all the time so uh, note to self make sure you take that off Now this is a weedless one I've uh, rigged up. This is a drift shad. So let's clip that one in there. Just a different color. Looks quite good for the pollock, that one. Now I'm gonna do a couple of these smaller ones I, I generally do um, just use those uh, though that's scary I think they're six inch size but well, I'll try these little fours sometimes if the fish are a bit finicky these work go there's one of the little ones Well, I think I'll do uh, <coughs> one more jelly worm. So I'm going to give these a bash. We used to always use them. Well, I used to, but I sort of stopped using them. And I bought these today, 25p each. So, uh, like I say, they're cheap as anything. And uh, my tackle shop is going to make me up some of these ball heads at 20, um, uh, 25 grams, so uh, around about an ounce in weight. So it works out cheap, you know. <laughs> you don't need, uh, you don't need, you know, these nine pound heads. At the end of the day, it is literally just to weight that lure down. <coughs> the tail does all the action. So, you know, why spend more money on uh, decorating the wrecks if you don't have to? You know, it's still not going to make you lose any less, and the fish, are, the fish will take it. As I said, 
before if them fish are feeding they'll take a rubber glove with a hook on it it's uh you know it don't matter what sparkly lure if the fish are feeding they will take it um believe me you know i've caught them on bare hooks before right So I've got room on there for one more, so then I'll have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. So, uh, you know, hopefully you're not going to lose that in a day. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. Hit that button there. That's my subscribe button. At the end of the video, it'll prompt another video and then it'll come up with the Manic Fishing logo. Please hit that logo and subscribe and support the channel. I really appreciate that. As I said, I'm going to do a lot more sort of species hunting. I'm going to try and get some wrasse. I did go out uh, yesterday to try for a little while, but I had to come in early. I dropped my camera, uh, I dropped my microphone over the side. My steering here wouldn't work. Uh, when I got out the lock, it, it had got corroded, so it was a bit of a drama day. My mother wasn't too well, so I came in early, but I did literally blitz a hole of a reef and I couldn't find anything there so uh, it is what it is it's only fishing but thanks so much for watching uh, some good videos coming up I may do a couple of videos with a couple of friends of mine coming out I normally fish on my own just me and the dogs but uh, you know um, it'd be nice just to get out with uh, a couple of other friends and that so uh, yeah keep watching thanks very much thanks for watching the video have a nice day thank you